Ah, that's a coin. First decent signal of the day. There's actually another signal over here, so there may be another coin there, hopefully. That's an old penny. Let's see if I can find a date on it. Eighteen eighty two, so it's a, a Victorian penny. Reasonably deep dig for what looks like spindle well. Yep, it's got a hole in the middle. It doesn't appear to have any pattern on, which is a bit of a shame. Some of them have lovely patterns on. That's a reasonable find at approximately nine, ten inches deep. Yeah, it looks like another lump of lead. I've had plenty of them, fellas. That's a musket ball. A medium sized musket ball. It was a canny old depth, had to be at least 10, 11 inches. Hello there. I'm going to try a new field today. That one just behind me there is a great coin shooting field. I must have pulled hundreds of coins out of there. Quite a lot of silver. You'll see those in a lot of my previous videos. Um, but the next field down the river uh, hopefully will be as, just as good. Uh, I've just got permission to go in there, so I'm going to give that a bash. But before I get there, uh, I've just decided to have a quick go on this path that links the two and found a little musket ball and what I think is a coin in here. This was reading 11.37. Yeah, it looks like a half penny of somebody's. Yeah, it's a half penny. More than likely George V, that's what most of them are around here. Still on the path, it started raining, and there's another coin here. It's an old threepenny bit, not one of the silver ones, unfortunately. Well, I'm approximately five yards into this new field, and I've got a very promising signal already. It's reading 12.39. And it's in here somewhere. And it's the first coin out of this new field. It's a George V penny. Well, I'm a little bit further in the field and there's nothing but iron signals. Hell of a lot of iron signals. But there's a very old walled structure just on the other side of that wire fence there. Um, and that feature is actually repeated on the other side of the river there. So I don't know whether there used to be an old bridge here or an old building or what, but uh, there's obviously been some sort of ancient activity resulting in so much iron. Um, this is actually only the second decent signal I've got. Um, so I'm <clears throat> kind of hoping it's another coin. No, it's not. It's another musket ball. Big one as well. Wouldn't like to be hit by that. I'm right at the far end of the field now. There's been very little. A lot of lead, which is reading 12.35, 12.36. This one's reading 12.35, stroke 12.36 as well. But this one's a ball, so I'm quite confident that this will be a coin. And here's hoping I don't look stupid by pulling out another lump of lead. No, it's a coin. Oh, it's a very small coin. No, it's a button. Ah, God damn it. This was a bouncy signal, but it was settling more or less towards the top right hand side of the screen. And it's another great big musket ball at approximately four inches or so. Very bouncy signal here uh, at about nine inches. And it's a coin. A half penny. Pretty deep. Uh, it looks like an early Victoria. This is only about 18 inches away from that Victorian halfpenny, and this is reading 10.37. So I'm kind of hoping this is a coin as well. It's given a nice two-way signal. That is a coin by the looks of it. Yep, 
It's an old head Victoria penny. It's in reasonable condition. The coil is roughly where those last two coins came from. And there's another decent signal here, which is probably is about four feet away or so. We've got what looks like another coin. It's another half penny, very worn. In fact, I think it's pretty much worn away. I'll hazard a guess that that's another Victoria. This one was another bouncy signal hovering around 835 and it looks like we've got another musket ball. Yeah, another big musket ball. Actually, no, it's not quite as big as the other ones. A bit deformed as well, it's probably hit something. At about three inches, we've got yet another musket ball. It's a nice round one. We've just had three digs in the space of about four square foot here. Musket ball, musket ball, and what looks like another musket ball. The day of musket balls. The signal where those musket balls have come from, and well, it's got a flat end. This one. This is a this is a later one. I think this is possibly from when they started rifling the barrels. See, it's got a flat end there to catch the, to catch the charge. It comes out and whoosh, flies out the barrel, and actually spins and has some sort of shape to its flight path. So that's an interesting find. Another dig, another musket ball. That one's hit something as well. In this little area here, I must have dug probably nine or ten musket balls out. I haven't videoed them all because some of them have been really terrible signals. But um, I'll show you what sort of signal I'm digging. I've also taken the earphones out as well so you can hear it. Don't know whether you can see that, it's reading 10.36. Seventeen thirty-seven. Five thirteen. Thirteen thirty-nine. So you can see it's a very jumpy signal. Twenty-two forty-one. The cursor's down there, so it's it's kind of jumping from there to there on the screen. It's quite hard to tell actually. That's maybe a bit better. It's jumping from there to there, so it's jumping up and down on the right-hand side of the screen. I'm using four-tone ferrous audio, so that's where we're getting the sound from. So we've had a really bouncy signal that, to be honest, not a lot of people would have dug. I know folks like to dig steady signals, but if you don't dig the bouncy ones, that's what you can be missing. Obviously it's just a musket ball, but it could have quite as easily just been a deep silver coin on its end. They give similar irregular signals. That's a monster, that one. Now the place where I'm hunting here today is probably is only around about a mile from where the Battle of Hexham site was in the uh, either 14th or 15th century. I'm not too good at history. I think it was 1456 or 14, no, 1564. That would be the 16th century. Pretty much all I found in here, apart from a few old coins, is musket balls. Found a hell of a lot of them. There's probably 20 or more. Most of them are very big, very early musket balls. And the vast majority of them look like they've hit something. 
flattened on one side. They've got gouges out of them. Um, they're deformed all together. I found some that were just like splat, like little tiny little dinner plates. They've obviously hit something pretty hard. It could have been hitting rocks or it could have been hitting armor. Uh, the Battle of Hexham wasn't necessarily one raging battle in one place. There's a lot of folks think that it was a series of skirmishes up and down the valley. So this field is possibly the site of one of those skirmishes. These musket balls and the lack of anything else would seem to indicate that that may be the fact. There's also a hell of a lot of iron in the ground here. In certain parts it's just iron, 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 iron. I haven't dug any of it because the E-Track kind of alerted to the fact that that's not what you're after. But maybe as if I come back here I'll dig some of that up because that might be interesting. I'm going to have a very quick look up the path that goes from here, uh, kind of between here and the coin shooting field to where the old village used to be. I'll have a quick look up there, uh, see if I can find anything. I'd like to think that the people who were camping in the coin shooting field between the wars would have gone up there to the local pub, which was then open. So with any luck, they'll have staggered back and dropped something for me to find. Well, there is a coin on the path, it's a threepenny bit. Wrong sort, unfortunately but there may be more. This one was a little bit off the track, but it's a two shilling piece from the 1960s. Unfortunately, not silver. It doesn't look like I'm gonna find any silver today. I'm almost back to my extinct coin shooting field. I'll drag the detector along there on the way back to the van and hopefully find something, but uh, if I don't, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Well, the coin shooting field still got something to give. I've just found an early Victorian halfpenny there. Yet another threepenny bit there. It's in quite good condition, that one. So I've got about 10 minutes till I need to get back to the van, so come on, there's got to be some silver somewhere. Has to be. Oh, damn it, another threepenny bit. Almost the same hole as that last one. Again, not silver. Bringing it down to the wire, this is literally the last minute. And there's possibly a bit of silver. Ah, oh, balls! I thought that was a bit of silver. It's uh, a very worn half penny. I must have just clipped the corner of that. I saw it looked like silver, so I thought, oh, I'll start filming this. Another half penny. Mm, I might get another dig on the way back, you never know. Well, I didn't manage to get the silver, unfortunately. I did find another couple of coins though, I uh, didn't bother filming them because I was in a mad rush to get away. Uh, I'm going to go home now, chuck everything out on a bench or something and count up exactly what I found today. Well that's the total from today's hunt. 28 musket balls of all different shapes and sizes. Most of them have hit something. Look at that. It's really deformed that, but it's definitely musket ball. Uh, these are all half pennies from Georgian through to Victorian, possibly some George V, maybe some the odd Edward VII as well. Um, pennies, pre decimal pennies, again, that's the same sort of age as the half pennies. Threepenny bits, uh, late 1900s. Uh, what were they? Two shillings, that's um, Elizabeth II, and a bit of modern coinage. So in all, there's approximately 30 coins and there's just short of 30 musket balls as well. So I've never had a hunt where I've found as many musket balls as I have coins. It's a really strange result. No silver either. And this lot looks awful drab when there's no shiny stuff. But maybe next time. Thanks for watching.